Hey guys, Chef Ali. Thanks for watching the video. This video is going to be about a bow morph, Super Aztec. The Super Aztec boa is when you breed an Aztec to an Aztec and you get its super form. It's a cold dominant gene. So um, this is basically as complete. It, be, it became dominant when you breed a cold dominant to a cold dominant. I had got five, six super Aztecs that came out in 2018 and she is my last survivor and she is really beautiful they were all gorgeous just rare looking boas but the problem was is that they had like a dysfunction in the morph and I could see why you know this is like when you breed a motley to a motley someone will come out with defects and no eyes and they all die out and they're pretty weak she has a little uh, dysfunction in her head movement as well, but she has been shown to be very strong. She, um, to me, as long as she hisses and, you know, that's a sign of survival, see? But honestly, she's, she's very calm. And just to show you that head movement. But um, she eats. She's doing fine. And I am very interested in this to see how it goes because if she can grow up, the next question will be, can she breed? Is she breedable? And if she is, and if it's a success, that would mean that she will produce nothing but Aztec boas. Which would be pretty cool. That would be pretty exciting. You know, there's a lot of things you could do. Like a lot of combinations you can bring to the table when you get a boa constrictor that can produce nothing but Aztec boas or nothing but that particular co-dominant gene. So now you get a higher chance of just producing all, you know, more rare combos with the morphs. So yeah, so, you know, I definitely you know, keep my fingers crossed. I hope everything goes well and I hope she just maintains. And just before I get out of this video, I do want to show her, expose her tail real quick. She just keeps gripping on the thing, but she is fantastic. Just a fantastic boa. Looks way better than my, in my opinion, looks way better than the re the regular Aztec boas and the high techs. And I have seen a lots of them. And for those of you guys, like if you don't know what a uh, a high tech looks like, what I will do is actually show you one in a second. I'm going to pull one out. That's probably going to bite. No, she ain't going to bite me. She's pretty. And this will be your, your, your high tech. This is a high tech. So this is an Aztec with a hypo gene. Usually the Aztec will be more black. I don't own any Aztecs because I produce nothing but hypo Aztecs, which I like a lot. Same type of tail pattern. Similar saddles, but as you can see, the saddles are really different. So... See how her head is wobbling, and then this one is not. So there you go, guys. You know, definitely, uh, if you can um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, you can keep an update if you're interested to see where this project will go. That'd be pretty cool. It's um, but um, definitely, I'm looking forward to the results on this because this because if you breed, if I breed this one, she only has a 50% chance of producing Aztecs. When her babies will have 50% chance. If she, if she be successful, she have a 100% chance. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned.